Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And as you can see, they have released a kind of surprise update to everyone, including a new map, new server transfers, and then kind of an update on everything across the board. Now, it seems like it's just a little bit of stuff. However, this is a large amount of information because they didn't even release it on their official. You can see it right here just to hit refresh button, right? This is their official forums, their community crunches and stuff. This isn't even something done there. This was only released on their Discord server and their Twitter from, from what I guess, but from what I understand. But uh, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna give you a quick breakdown of all of this stuff and some specifics that kind of like you can read between the lines of things that are gonna be here, but this is a good thing. This is uh, the first time I think that I've been able to say like, there's nothing bad in this update. Um, so you can basically see that the, uh, here's to a new calendar year on the wall. We filled it with content and uh, they're excited for 2024. To be completely fair, 2024 is going to be a huge year for ARC. Huge. Basically, every single month, we're getting a new map, which is insane, right? So, like, yes, all the people are going to be like, well, these maps already existed. Yeah, but they're going back through and they have to restructure things and fix things that upgrading to Unreal 5 kind of broke. So, every single month, if not more than every month, we're going to be seeing regular updates, even surprise updates like this, because they might not have been realized that they were able to actually do some of this. But I'm going to talk about it all in just a second here. So, anyways, you can see. Um, but yeah, quick recharge and uh, you can see the first quarter schedule. So basically January, February, March, they've got three different updates for each one in January. They're actually enabling for like, it, this is huge for official servers, especially unofficial servers, full server transfers and official servers across all platforms. Once enabled, players will be able to download items and creatures onto the map without restriction, which is huge. Now, the big reason that's huge is because people that are playing on official right now, they're stuck on whatever map they're stuck on. And if someone becomes a dirtbag on that map and they kind of just block off caves and not let you do things and stuff like that, you're kind of just stuck in the crappy map. So this enables it so people can get off and then attack other servers because you can have these alpha tribes attack each other and stop focusing on all the bobs, which is huge for people that want to that are more new to the game. Definitely a big helpful factor. And then for those of us that play unofficial, this actually opens up a huge world of things because we can start to cluster our uh, maps like Svartalfheim. Um, and then, yeah, that it, clustering is huge. It's very important to have clusters. So that's a huge update that I don't think anyone really knew was on its way. So that's huge. Now, the other one that kind of surprised a lot of people is in February. Basically, they have a new addition to the schedule, the launch of the remastered center map. Center map was one of my favorite maps of all time. However, basically after center launched, it had zero updates. There was lots of visual graphic issues. There was lots of actual uh, just bugs all over the map. It was a fantastic map, by the way. It was official map fantastic and it never got updated so i'm hoping that they have a lot of updates and then obviously you can see an early debut from the community voted caregiving dinosaur the gigantoraptor so not only are they releasing full server transfers they're also adding in the center map a new dino and then they're still planning on launching scorched earth in march and a frontier adventure pack which is a whole new um, skin system essentially and that's going to be huge um so these are like surprise updates and I've got a feeling we're going to get a bunch of these throughout this year because once they've kind of figured out and grasped the, the generic bugs and kind of fixed the early game arc, they're going to be able to focus on bringing your you and me like their player base more content. And that's the huge thing when it comes to arc, because once you're adding in these additional things, you're getting a huge change every time a new map release, every time a new dino gets released, every time a new set of things gets released, you're changing the meta. And not only are you changing the meta, you're changing how people play. And the reason that people love ARC is because it changes how you play it on such a regular basis based on updates, changes, um, things they remove, things they add in, all this kind of stuff. It's that's that's what I look for, right? I look forward to back when ARC originally released, we were getting two creatures a month and sometimes more than that. This kind of seems like the schedule that they're kind of moving towards right now, at least a monthly release of things which is a huge, huge change. And obviously you can see that full cross-platform premium mods is going to debut in early 2024. I don't think it's gonna be in these three months. Um, I think it's gonna be like April, May, and then something along those lines. Now, premium mods are obviously gonna be a little bit different. Um, I, I don't really know how they're gonna release it. I've heard anyone say from they're gonna charge people access for these premium mods. They're even considering adding some of them to official from what I've heard, but I don't totally know. I think what this, to me, what it means is they're, I don't think they're gonna charge people for premium mods if you wanna be completely honest. 
What I think is probably going to happen is I think that somehow they're going to be added to an a official network in some way, shape or form, kind of like Smalls are. They're going to have like a modded cluster almost. But, you know, I don't know for sure. But I think this is why they're doing all that modding uh, release where they're like, hey, we're going to pay you a bunch of money to make some cool mods. And I think that's the reason that they're doing that. Um, but obviously you can see more on the upcoming plans for the year and then what they're doing in 2024. Now, obviously people are going to be like, well, it's blah, blah, blah. This is just from Wildcard, by the way. This has nothing to do with Snail. This has nothing to do with Nitrato. This has nothing to do with any other company. This is a release from Wildcard. So the actual game makers, you can't be really angry at the game makers because they're doing everything they can. They have fixed a lot. They arc has become better each and every single day, which I, I am super stoked for. And it's just in general, these updates are massive. I know that doesn't seem like it's a lot of information, right? But reading between the lines, what this means to me is we're going back to an old school arc where we have updates on a regular basis. We get new creatures on a regular basis. We get new maps on a regular basis, new ideas with this premium mod concept. And then opening up like full server transfers. These are things that people are begging for. And arc towards the end of the lifespan of arc survival evolved, they kind of stopped listening to their fan base. Unlike in the beginning where people were like, hey, we want this. And they kind of moved towards that. Hey, we want this. And they moved towards that. I'm hopeful that this to me indicates that they're going to be moving towards a more player based approach, which I'm hoping for. Um, it seems like it's going to move towards that. I know people are like, oh, teach, you're just being wishy washy. You just hated them for this decision last week. And now you're looking for this decision and this week. If you can't psychoanalyze yourself and be like, look, I can respect a company for doing good and bad and call them out for both. That's an important thing to do. This is all good right here. And people will be like, well, you know, they promised this. They promised that the same time let's hope that it all works out this is an update that should be viewed as a positive thing i love these images by the way i think they're super cool whoever their artist is does a fun job um but this is a massive update so anyways hopefully this is something that helps you guys out and if you don't mind smack that like button leave a comment below and then consider looking at some of my other content and subscribe to the channel all right other than that teach